very special night. We got two very special guests lined up for you. Just had a couple of things I wanted to get out of the way first. Now we have to say this. After our huge run here for over three years as the Devil's Rejects, as I've stepped into a new job here as a broadcaster at Empire, you know, the Rejects have been all over the world in a lot of different towns. Most of them we got chased out of with a pitchfork, but no town like Ralston, Georgia, has welcomed us like you have. So I just want to thank you for all your support during the Devil's Rejects who melt my cold black heart. The Midnight Black Mass originated as a podcast that I host weekly. It is for adults only. I do use foul language. But it's on the internet. You can catch it at beyondringside.com or you go to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash podhumor and click on it and subscribe, if you will, to Podcast Network that has lots of different shows covering entertainment. But tonight, the reason that we're out here you know, when you think of the great wrestling feuds and rivalries of all time, you think of people like Dusty Rhodes and Harley Race, yeah. or Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair, yeah. or even Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, yeah. over in the Southeast, Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler comes to mind. Yeah. As the great wrestling rivalries of all time, and over the last decade, in the Southeast, there's been a, there's been a rivalry that I would dare say could stack well up to any of those that one day may very well be remembered in the same breath as those great rivalries. I'm talking about the rivalry between Ace Rockwell and Sean Timbers. You just saw the comments from WWE superstar Xavier Woods. You saw Jackie Bailey and the former NBA president Bill Barron. Very important people in the wrestling industry talking about this feud. And so it's my pleasure to discuss this. I was there from the very beginning. I met those guys when we were teenagers in high school. We were wrestling in our backyard. We were the best of friends. We were going to conquer the world together. But something changed. We all got into the professional wrestling business. And as you know, it can be quite a cutthroat industry. But back in the year 2000, a truck club shot him for a pack team called Pomp and Circumstance. They also traveled all over the country. They competed in famous companies like NWA Wildside and IWA Mid South. Coming in Lost in Park. They've been all over the country. But then in 2005, the Eagles got in the way and they split up. They went their separate ways. And what resulted was the rivalry that everyone's been talking about. One of the bloodiest, wildest, and also involved the greatest technical wrestling of any rival I personally have ever seen. So at this time, I would like to bring out my guest for this edition of the Midnight Black Mass first. He is the Empire Heavyweight Champion, The Temptation,